Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. And there's so much news to get to. DEA secretly tracked all Americans' phone calls for over a decade, document reveals, then would create fake research out of that. There's just new articles out on it today so they could then create a fake court case, just total fraud. Uh, we're going to be breaking down why the middle class is disappearing and who really runs the so-called one-tenth of one percent. I was just going through this stack of news. My old buddy, I'm in two of his movies, he lives right here in Austin, Rick Linkletter, bolstered for Oscars at London Critics Awards, uh, winning that and set, they think, to probably win Oscars. So he, he, he deserves one. He's really a great guy. Boyhood is a powerful film, uh, but pretty long. Uh, I don't think it's his best film, but he certainly uh, deserves an Oscar. Uh, it's just a little side issue. Clint Eastwood, fistful of dollars. Sniper, the first weekend, American Sniper, makes $105 million, And there's now a big controversy. American Sniper complaints grow in Hollywood should Clint Eastwood be celebrating a killer. You know, that's not my issue, humanizing a sniper in a war. And I know people want to believe in Chris Kyle. I've debated Chris Kyle repeatedly. In fact, we ought to grab that opening and anti. It was one other show. I mean, I was nice to him, but I told him, I said, Je uh, I said uh, Jesse Ventura is going to sue you. And you've already changed your story. This is for Jesse sued him. I said, you need to back off right now and admit it was a lie. He said, I'm not going to do that. In fact, I need to do a special report for the Nightly News tonight. In fact, do just have it set up at the end of the show. I'm going to shoot this. So I'm going to do this properly. I'm going to tie it into Private Lynch and members of her team getting killed when they went public. Pat Tillman and the mainstream articles about it being a homicide when the Army coroner broke ranks. And I want to get some other examples of other military people who were used as PR fronts who didn't play ball, so they killed them. And I believe Chris Kyle was murdered. Uh, I know people that know Chris Kyle. In fact, I have, I have had some friends. I'll just leave it at that, that I've known a very long time that are friends with Chris Kyle. And one of them is polite but will not associate with me anymore, basically, because I sided with Ventura. So I'm right here in Texas, folks. I've been involved in this up to my eyeballs. So this is what I want for the nightly news. Get the clips off of Opie and Anthony when I was on there talking Chris Kyle. It's on YouTube. Alex Jones, you know, talks Chris Kyle. I think it's the name of it. Get a clip of that so, so viewers know I'm not just saying this. And then uh, I want to show what looks like Kraft at the uh, Boston bombing. I'm not saying Kraft was involved, but it's the Kraft uniform, the Kraft Punisher hats with the blood, and the cops are there taking their directions. People say, that could be anybody in Punisher outfits, directing the police, running around with black backpacks. It's time I do a report on Chris Kyle. I mean, who else can? I've been deeply involved in this from the beginning, and I'm going to go see it. It's been sold out. I was going to go Saturday night, and no theater in town had it. So I got tickets for Wednesday night. So I'll have a review for you. But I've already read the book, so I know what the film is, and I've read the cheat sheet on it. And it is uh, a load of bull. Kyle even admitted uh, in interviews that a lot of it was basically hype in the book. Um, there were snipers in Vietnam that killed 300, 400 people. They just couldn't confirm them all. There were snipers in Korea that may have killed up to 500 people. Um, but they can't confirm it because it was human wave attacks. So he's just not America's most deadly sniper. And a lot of what's in the book is a, fa is a fairy tale. Jesse Ventura doesn't drink. Jesse Ventura doesn't go bad-mouthing Navy SEALs at the, at the events. And he had it was all bull. He lost the court case. So that's justice. And, and it was designed to destroy Jesse Ventura. 
the government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Several months back, I started taking your Nixon iodine and your super meal. Prior to this, I was barely walking. Now I'm able to function as a human again. Infowarslife.com. You've heard the callers to the show. Your products are great. I use DNA Force. I use X2. Thank super you. Super meal vitality and lung cleanse. Every day, they're great stuff. Whether it's Survival Shield Nascent Iodine or DNA Force, Super Male Vitality, Super Female Vitality, Lung Cleanse, Fluoride Shield, Oxy Powder, I believe that all of these products will blow you away like they've done the thousands of other customers that have visited InfoWarsLife.com. That's too. Um, just, just amazing what it's able to do to actually detox in the body. It's great stuff. Check out InfoWarsLife.com today and the entire line of groundbreaking, cutting-edge, hardcore products. Sold out for weeks due to the difficult and extensive proprietary process behind its creation, the exclusive InfoWars Life Secret 12 formulation is now back in stock. This ultra-clean vitamin B12 nutraceutical has been carefully crafted and developed over the last two years and is based on cellular science of how your body actively absorbs essential nutrients. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methocobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosyl cobalamin, the most bioactive form that has been created with our proprietary process. Secret 12 is taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Supplies of Secret 12 are very limited. Secure yours today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Argentinian prosecutor who accused the president, Christina Kirchner, over 1994 bombings has been found dead. Alberto Nisman, who on Monday was due in parliament to present his case against the president, found dead days after warning I could end up dead because of this. That's the London Telegraph. We also have it posted to Infowars.com. AFP is also carrying the report. And they're already in that country's newspapers calling it a conspiracy theory. If you question his death, he's about to present to Parliament bombshell evidence. He says, I could be found dead. I'm being threatened. He's found dead. And you're not supposed to question that. See, that's the label conspiracy theorist. It's just meant to not ask questions and to shut down any serious form of debate. The prosecutor found dead just hours before giving what was expected to be damning testimony against the president appears to have committed suicide, the nation's top security official said Monday. Oh, the nation's top, who do you think carried out the hit? The people doing the investigation? 
Think so? Who do you think kills people for the president? I'd give it a 99% chance. Oh, I bet there's going to be a handwritten note there. Yeah, let me tell you how that works. Fill this out or we're going to blow your kid's head off when they get out of school today. That's how they do it. And then you fill out your suicide note and they go, okay, you made the right decision. Boom! Maybe you flinch when they pull the trigger, so they shoot you a couple more times. Maybe you fight them. There, there's been cases of that. And they shoot you as you run down the street. And, of course, there was gun control restrictions there. So even as a prosecutor, he had trouble having a gun. But, of course, the security services, they always have a gun, whether it's Nazi Germany or Soviet Russia or Mao China, because they know that political power grows out of the barrel of a gun. On the nightly news tonight, I will give you my breakdown of the American Sniper film. I've read the cheat sheet of it. I'm seeing it Wednesday, but I've already read online the complete, basically, transcript of the film. It's the book that Ventura sued over and won in court. It is a fiction. I know it feels good to go watch a great Clint Eastwood movie. I love Clint Eastwood. He's a great director. It is a load of baloney. He was not crying about shooting people. He was not torn up about it. My problem with Clint Eastwood's film is that it's just not Chris Kyle. Make a movie. That sounds avant-garde where he goes, they're all dirty savages. I want to kill more of these animals. I mean, those are quotes. Two newspapers. He became a security risk because the story was unraveling. So how do you prop a story up that's unraveling? You kill the living hero to make him more sanctified as a martyr. Just like Pat Tillman. The great NFL star killed battling Al-Qaeda on a hill. Turned out he was murdered in cold blood begging for his life. Army's own report. Same story. Different man. And Pat Tillman was a hero. He gave up multi-million dollar a year contract. Went over there to fight with his brother. Found out it was all bull. We were growing the drugs. Running all sorts of stuff. Working with Al-Qaeda. Started writing letters home to his family. I've talked to his brother and it's come out in the news. And they murdered him, murdered him good. That'll make a movie about Pat Tillman and about how they murdered him. That's a movie that deserves a Pulitzer Prize for the, for the article written on it. And then a major Oscar. That's what Clint Eastwood should be making. Oh, but Clint Eastwood's been doing government propaganda since the 40s. Clint Eastwood... Gasses up his own car, super hardcore conservative, loves Ronald Reagan, listens to KSCO that we're on in the area there in California, Santa Cruz. Old Clint Eastwood, who calls in on Michael Savage's show there in San Francisco. Though for a fact... Tunes into this show. I don't even know what to say about that. I guess she just believes America is just so good and so wonderful that even if it isn't true about Chris Kyle, give everybody this great image. I don't know. Why didn't you just make a fiction film then? See, I said I would uh, do this tonight because I want to go over all the evidence of them killing Jessica Lynch's team members because she hid in fear, didn't shoot the Iraqis and all that. Remember Private Lynch, all that bull? And Pat Tillman, all that bull? They kill people to keep these stories going. And they no doubt killed Chris Kyle in that made up PS, PTSD story. Now that said, let me get into this report. Middle class decline looms over final years of Obama presidency. Reuters, Barack Obama enters his final two years of the presidency with a blemish on the legacy that looks impossible to erase. The decline of the middle class, he has promised to rescue. <laughs> if he promises something, you know it's the opposite. He zigs, you zag. The revival of middle class jobs has been one of Obama's mantras since he took office in 09, fighting the worst economic crisis in generations. It was a major theme of the